instantly stop any corona light from hitting specific objects in your scene without messing with the rest of your lighting. Watch this, that's the light exclusion and it's part of the non-physical properties of corona light and this is how we can use it. First, select the corona light, then go to the modify panel and scroll down to the non-physical property section. You will see the exclusion list here. Click the little plus button next to it. Now, click on the object you want the light to ignore. Let's use this wall as an example. Look at the render preview. You will see the wall is no longer lit by the light. Keep in mind, the selection mode stays active. If you click another object, it will also get added to the exclusion list. To stop adding objects, either click the plus button again or right click anywhere in the viewport. You may notice something interesting. The exclude object, like the Fox model, is no longer lit directly, but it may still cast a shadow from the light. This is because the light exclusion only prevents direct lighting. It doesn't automatically stop the object from blocking light and casting shadows. If you want to stop the object from casting shadows as well, you need to change the object properties. Let's try that. Right click on the Fox and choose Object Properties. Go to the Rendering Control section and uncheck Cast Shadows. Now, the thoughts won't cast any shadows in your scene. It's important to understand the difference here. Light exclusion controls whether light hits the object. Object properties controls whether the object casts shadows. Next, let's look at how to control the visibility of the light source itself. Back in the non-physical properties section, you will find three checkboxes. Let's start with visible directly. This controls whether the light object is visible to the camera. By default, it's turned on. Let's uncheck it. Watch the render the light object disappears, but the room is still lit. This is super useful for hidden light sources, where you only want the illumination, not the actual light in the shot. Next, let's uncheck visible reflections. Take a look at the bright spot on the floor. Once we turn this off, the reflection of the light source disappears, but the floor remains illuminated. Now, let's uncheck visible in refractions. This is for transparent objects like glass. If the light is still showing in your glass object, turning off this option will hide the light source through transparent materials as well. Now, let's move on to a setting called Occlude Other Lights. This becomes important when you have multiple lights in your scene. Let's add a couple of extra lights on the side, one above the other, and increase their intensity a bit. I will also add some directionality so it's easier to see the effect. Now, look closely at the floor beneath the main light. You may see a dark patch shape like our new light. That's because occlude other light is turned on by default. The main light is acting like a solid object, blocking light from the secondary source, and that's what creates a shadow. Let's turn it off, uncheck occlude lights, and watch the shadows. It vanishes. Now, the main light lets the other light pass through, so you can control how lights interact with each other. Okay, let's do a quick recap of the visibility settings. Visible directly hides the light from the camera view. Visible in reflections hides it in mirror or reflective surface. Visible in refraction hides it through a glass or transparent object. And finally, there is one more option in this section called Shadow Catcher Illuminator. This one is a bit more advanced and is mainly used when combining 3D renders with photos using the Corona Shadow Catcher material. We have covered this in another video and I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And that's it. Now you know how the non-physical properties of Corona lights give you a ton of control. You can fine tune how lights behave in your scene and get exactly the artistic results you're going for. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.